Hi guys, my name is Claire and I'm the Young Adult Services Coordinator at Red Deer Public Library. And this summer we will be bringing you some DIY easy at home tutorials. And our first one is a reusable bag made out of an old t-shirt. So for this project, you'll need an old t-shirt that you do not care about anymore as we will be cutting it up and a good sharp pair of scissors. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first step in our project will be to cut along the neckline sort of a little bit deeper than you would normally and then also remove the sleeves just past maybe an inch an inch and a half past that seam so with your pair of scissors you will cut a little past that seam and discard the sleeve You'll cut around the neckline and do the other to the other sleeve as well. So after we've cut off that first sleeve, we are going to fold the t-shirt so that the sleeves semi sort of match up here. And we're just going to use that as a guide to cut off the remaining sleeve. So just try to measure so that your tops are even and down here that your sides are even well, as even as they can be, and then go ahead and cut along that seam. So we will just cut off this second sleeve, and there we are. So once we're finished with that, we will be discarding that second sleeve. All right, so now your t-shirt will look something like this. Both sleeves are gone, but you still have that neckline. So what we're going to go ahead and do is either you can freehand cutting it out and you do want to go fairly deep because these sleeves, the seams at the tops of these sleeves will be acting as um, the loops for your bag. So you have to think about how large you want your bag opening. So I'm going to cut probably from an inch away from the neckline down in a fairly deep circular motion. So as soon as I'm done that, I will show you what it looks like. So as you can see, I've cut along um, sort of in a U shape away from that neckline. So that now you have two uh, loops for the top of your bag. Now we're going to concentrate how we want to close up our bag. So we have two options here. Uh, one, which will allow fringe to be on the outside of your bag is sort of an aesthetic choice. Or once we cut the strips to make knots in, you can turn your bag inside out so that those fringe parts are on the inside. I'm gonna go ahead and leave them on the outside, but I'll show you what I mean. So first, just sort of eyeball a little bit on how you want your strips. So you're going to want to cut strips like this in the bottom of your bag. So it's not very long, maybe three inches of just cuts and I'm doing them very loosely. I'm not measuring them out and I will come back when it's all done and I'll show you how to knot. So as you can see, I've cut out the bottom fringe across the entire bottom of the bag and making sure to cut uh, open the one side on either end that's closed for the t-shirt and what you're going to do is you're just going to go around and knot each piece so this is what i mean about the fringe so mine will be on the outside and you'll be able to see this knot if you prefer not to see it turn your t-shirt inside out after you've cut your fringe and just do this part on the inside and then turn it right side out and this part will be hidden on the inside. So you just want to go along and tie up with its little partner each um, fringe all the way down. So you want to do a double knot on each and just continue down and I'll show you what it looks like when we are completed.
So as we can see, I've knotted up the bottom of the bag going all the way across, just in those simple knots that I showed you, and that's your finished bag. So that's the bottom of your bag, and then you have the loops. So go ahead and stay tuned, and I will show you a picture of the completed bag.